And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. And another day, another hotel room, and another week, and several more entries into the 2024 presidential sweepstakes. This week, we got announcements from the former Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence, and a governor and former governor, Christie of New Jersey, Burgum of North Dakota, coming into the 2024 contest for the Republican nomination, all of which again suggests, as I've said repeatedly, that Republicans really believe they've got a great opportunity to win in 2024. And many would suggest that a large field in the Republican primaries benefits President Trump, who currently holds a wide margin over all other comers. There's probably some truth to that, at least right now. And the one thing that I know, though, is that as these campaigns progress, things change. From my days back with Ronald Reagan in 1976, yes, Ronald Reagan ran against a sitting Republican president for the Republican nomination once upon a time. Uh, and I recognize that things are going to be very different. Right now, these candidates are trying to find their own lane. You know, there are only three, maybe four tickets out of Iowa, for example. So the field narrows very, very early, and each candidate is looking for their unique selling proposition. With Christie, he's going to be the anti-Trump candidate. Pence, more anti-Trump than you would have expected, and able to say I'm the former vice president. This Doug Burgum from North Dakota, very, very few people have heard of him, but he has a compelling story. Somebody who ran against the Republican establishment for governor five years ago ended up getting over 75% of the vote in the general election. A tremendous business story, you know, far exceeding some of these other folks that say, oh, I'm a millionaire, look at me. He's a billionaire, did pretty well, and clearly a dark horse right now, but a lot to become. And it's time for the 155th running of the Belmont Stakes, if in fact they're going to run. Belmont Park canceled racing earlier this week because of the smoke whiffing down from Canada on account of those wildfires up there. We'll have to see if they actually race, but I'm thinking they will. And it's a small field and a long race with great memories of Secretariat running towards immortality there in one of the most amazing races of all time. But here's the trifecta for you for Saturday. Tap it Trice and the favorite going into the Kentucky Derby field who ultimately got scratched, Forte, and Pennsylvania's favorite, Angel of Empire. There's your trifecta ticket. Summer's upon us. Next week, I hope we'll have the summer reading list. Might have to wait an extra week for that. But for now, that is the best 60-inch seconds of your week.